Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have my pruning shears here because we're gonna attempt to prune some of these fruit trees. This is not really a how-to video. This is just like, let's all kind of try and learn together because I'm in the newbie stages of fruit tree pruning. Been watching so much and reading so much on how to prune them, but it's remarkable how hard it is to actually put it into practice when you get the actual tree in front of you. So maybe you guys can help me out and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. I'm sure you will. But I will tell you what I've done wrong so far and some of the things that I've done right. So I'm gonna let you know the tips that are like simple that have worked for me because I'm a very simple instruction person. A lot of the how-to videos I've been watching are just too in-depth and I end up forgetting everything. So we're gonna go over the basics and then um, kind of show you where we are. So here's the orchard so far, I will show you. So let's start here. What I think I did wrong here is I don't have a clear central lead. I was trying to split the branches, but they're way past being able to be split. So, so one of the first mistakes that I made was leaving all these supports on. Um, this one came with one from the box store. And my understanding is you don't want to do that because the tree does not learn how to stand on its own. And plus it had all these tie-on things that could get uh, girdled over time. So I'm just taking those off. All right, I think I'm supposed to clean up the bottom down here. So I'll do that. Okay, I know that you want to avoid lion tailing. So I'm not going to snip all of them off because I'm afraid it's going to lead to that. But this new growth here um, is getting pretty close to that upper branch. So I'm just going to use another branch to split it and send it off in a different direction. There's not a clear central lead. So I am going to choose which one, which one? I should probably have a pole saw, but I think that's a little bit better. All right, I don't want to do too much more here. Maybe just take this guy off. Okay, I don't wanna to do too much damage if I'm doing it wrong. So we'll do little bits at a time with each tree. This one is my problem tree. Um, I pruned it sort of incorrectly uh, in the spring. And we've got this V shape here, which I didn't think it was that big of a deal until I learned that once the tree is bearing fruit, it will split and it could eventually split down the middle once it's a, a big, beautiful fruit bearing tree. So I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to choose one of these. I'm not sure, <sighs> I'm so afraid to chop off too much and kill the tree, but honestly, if I'm gonna kill it, I would rather do it now when I haven't invested five years into it. So I think I'm gonna keep this one and take this one off. I think I can keep this guy, but if I can't, then I'll cut it off later. So I think that's, I think that's what we're gonna be looking at. Ah, <sighs> I can do it, I can do it. I should really have a hand pole saw. Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't just kill my tree. Now I'm going to clean up where there are no new, there's no leaves coming out where things are looking dead. So this one here, maybe this tree is still pretty wobbly, which I'm guessing is because we had it staked up, which I didn't realize you're not supposed to do. So, um, I'm gonna let it grow a little bit more. I'm afraid to clean it up too much because I know it needs those leaves to send down roots. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, I feel better. Thank you for your moral support. I think this one actually looks pretty decent. I did do some pruning in the early spring, but I do have these supports down here, which we're not supposed to have. So I'm gonna get rid of that and let this tree start figuring out life on its own. I saw in one video they said that uh, a lot of times people's very healthy otherwise trees will die because they left the tag on and it girdles around the tag and that can kill the tree so i'm trying to keep an eye out for that here i've got this tag but it has stretchy stuff on it and i still need to make sure that i make other tags so that i know what i actually have so i think we're fine here for now all right this one is just kind of sad looking again i'm gonna take this guy off okay the honey crisp tree looks pretty good i think um, there was a weird shaped branch that I couldn't tell if I was supposed to prune or not, but I, it's growing back up. If anything, I'll probably come off like mid or late summer and take off some of the branches when it's easier to see where things are crowded. But uh, right now I think, I think we're gonna keep it as is. Okay, this one is an apricot tree that I just planted uh, this year. So it was a bare root plant. So I'm not gonna do anything to it. I 
thought about trimming those down, but I'm not gonna do anything to it this first year, and I won't show you the other ones, but I do have some more apricot trees and uh, cherry trees that I just planted that we're just not gonna touch. For this peach tree, it's looking pretty good. This is, we put hardware cloth to protect it from deer, but we actually have not had any deer problems with the ones that didn't have hardware cloth, so I think we're probably gonna take most of it off. This is one of the few where the hardware cloth isn't actually causing a problem, so I might just leave this one on. I don't know, it is it is kind of pushing pushing these guys up, so I'll just take it off. I'll link the tools I'm using. This is These are, I wanna say they're tinsel cutters, something like that. Um, they're for cutting the hardware cloth really easily. My husband actually did most of the siding on our house with just these. I do see um, a couple branches that are crossing each other, so I'm gonna take those off. This portrait is what was described as a hardy nectarine. And I'll take this, oh yeah, I'll loosen it. Um, we got it from a really nice nursery, but I don't know, it's obviously not doing that well. So I don't know that it's gonna last in our zone, but I figure I might as well take off the dead branches just to give it a chance. It doesn't, hmm. It's not looking good, but sometimes these trees surprise you me anyway we'll see maybe there's hope all right this is a pear tree and I think first of all I know we need to break it out of this hardware cloth here uh oh okay so I do have a branch growing through the hardware cloth I'm gonna try and break it out easily but if I can't I'm just gonna cut it well that was a little violent yeah so that hardware cloth caused big problems, it squished all the branches together. I think I am gonna just take this one off, actually. I think we have enough otherwise. <laughs> now this is what I'm not really sure what to do with because I feel like it definitely should be one of these two branches, but I'm afraid if I take off one of them that it's really gonna inhibit the girl. So I don't know if that's correct thinking or not, but I am going to leave it for now and I'll revisit it next year. All right, this one I already took the hardware cloth off, so I'm... Ooh, our central lead looks dead. Yeah, that's dead. So I'm going to trim that back. I'm not sure. What, what do I do when the central lead is dead? I, sh I feel like I should trim it back, but maybe it's just going to have a different shape. Let me know in the comments if you know the answer to that one. Maybe that'll send us in the right direction. I do see a monarch butterfly on what I think maybe some milkweed, I'm not sure. I thought only the caterpillars liked it, but very, very pretty. Stuff like that makes you feel like you might be doing something right. This one I already took the hardware cloth off of, so it's drooping a bit because it lost that support, but I'm hopeful that it will gain the support back. Just gonna take off a little bit of dead growth here. Definitely get sharp pruning shears. Mine are kind of on their last legs. There's a lot more shaping I want to do with this one, but it's a pretty small tree and I don't want to totally decimate it. So, or totally destroy it. So, um, we'll leave that one for now. Benji, come on. This one is an absolute disaster. By the way, this is Benji, guys. Benji, come here. Benji was a, a stray and I might do a video introducing you guys to Ben, but he's a fantastic dog was a stray and is like the best family dog we could have asked for. So he's a good boy. Okay, so he's like probably part Great Pyrenees Collie is they, what they think. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm going to loosen this tag first of all. The Great Pyrenees, they are roamers. So he roams a lot. So this one has <clears throat> all these shoots coming out of the bottom and I don't know what to do with those. I think I'm supposed to prune them, but I don't want to take them all off at once. So I'm going to take one off right now. And then I'm going to do more research. Um, Cause they're all coming out by like the graft. Actually, I just read that they're called the rootstock sucker and they're very bad. <laughs> and they'll take over if you don't stop it. 
which I should have done a long time ago. So I guess I'm going to take, I don't know. It's like, that's like the whole thing. This is like the tree without it. I hope I'm not killing this right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel good about it. So hopefully after I take these off, the other one will take off more. That's a problem with the hardware cloth is it really encouraged those suckers, I think. So, okay. Well, hey, new, uh, new look, new you, I like it. This is one of the trees that I planted this year from a box store, which first year, I, I don't believe you're really supposed to do anything to it. So I'm gonna leave it. I really like to buy the bare root trees. They're cheaper and they do better. This one's had transplant shock. It dropped a bunch of leaves. That's usually what happens. I'm not too worried because it happened with all the other box door trees we got. So I know it's going to come back, but yeah, it is what it is. Look at this cute, cute little fig tree. I bought this little twig fig tree from Home Depot for like nine dollars and it had nothing going on for the longest time and i thought i deserved it because it was a nine dollar tree and i should know better than to try and buy a nine dollar fig but check it out it's putting out little little fig leaves which was a very exciting discovery this morning i planted this plum last year and it's not doing nearly as well as the other plum which you'll see in a second which has a lot of cleanup work to do but had this around it so it's looking weaker so hopefully i'll be able to report back uh next year with another video where it is much stronger than it is now. This is probably our biggest cleanup job today because the hardware cloth has made serious mess of this. So we're gonna take off the hardware cloth and go from there. Yeah, I definitely wish I would have done this in the winter when it was easier to see. Don't know what that is. I'm sure it's bad though. You know, I'm wondering if I should just start by trying to spread these branches out. There's a bunch of spiders on here. I'm gonna trim this one where that branch got kind of ripped up pretty bad, but I think it can go. I'm gonna start trying to spread these limbs out just so I can See it a little better before our next pruning because I would rather err on the side of caution right now. All right, so I'm fully aware that a lot more needs to happen with this tree, but I don't really feel confident right now. So rather than doing stuff I'm going to regret later, I think. I'm gonna see where it's gonna grow now that the hardware cloth isn't there. And I, my understanding is that it will go where the light goes. So the top ones will grow taller and then the bottom ones will grow out more. So I'm gonna see if that happens before I take off too many more branches. I know it needs a lot more cleaned off, but I think this is good for now. This one is looking really healthy, but I don't like kind of the V thing we have going on here. So let's see, let's see. Yeah, I did, I did prune it once all ready to go out more this way I can see. Um, hmm. I think I'll take this guy off. I don't want him growing towards the middle. And then I want to send this one out this way. So we'll do that. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I should trim this one back or not. What do you guys think? Let me know. I feel like I already trimmed it back once and it's still kind of just growing up. It comes from all the way down here, so I, I feel like it's going to get really heavy up here and pull down, but we'll see what happens. So I have some new trees over there. That one, that one, then to the right, there's another one. It's not much to do with those right now. All right, so this one also, I took out the hardware cloth. I don't like what's going on here. There's like all the branches are on one side. So I th think, oh, I hate to do it. I'm gonna loosen the tag first of all. Get a little bit tight. All right, what do we do? I hate this so much. I don't know why nothing's growing on this side. All right, I'm just, I'm gonna take this one off. I think that's the best I can do right now. I think that looks a little more balanced. So this nectarine is doing better than the other one. 
This is called a Maricrest Nectarine. It's supposed to be hardy at least to zone five. I think it was hardy to zone five, which is where we are. I usually don't like to buy anything that's meant to be a perennial that's not hardy past one zone more extreme than we can handle. So I usually like to buy things that are hardy down to zone four. So we'll have to see, you know, if we have a harsher winter, what happens, but yep, we're gonna, we got another sucker. Well, this one isn't a sucker, but it's not where I really want it splitting. So I'm gonna take this one off. Oh, it was dead anyway, almost dead, almost dead. These are for sure suckers, I'll get these, but we're gonna take this off first. That tag was really starting to girdle the tree already. I'm really glad we found that. Let's take this out too. So it's a little slanted right now, but it will start growing up eventually. I was trying to split limbs on this earlier and I tore a huge piece off of this side. I'm so mad. It was a huge branch that split down. So that stinks, but the tree still looks okay to me. There. Hopefully it can recover. All right, I think I went a little out of order, so I think this is actually the last one. All right, hardware cloth out. Undoing old mistakes, which is a large part of my life. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't really know what to prune here. Um, it all looks pretty well spread out. Guys, what would you do if you were me? I think I want this branch to move this way. This one this way. And honestly, I don't, yeah, I don't feel good about taking off a whole lot more. Maybe this one I can probably. Because it's got so many nice, beautiful leaves and it's gonna use all that energy to put roots down. Sorry, where's my dog? I had to take a little break, which I think was really helpful because I'm coming at this with fresh eyes now. This one's coming towards the middle, so we'll clip that. So I think I may clip right. Whoops, that was the wrong tool. All right, so I'm hoping that, that might have been a huge mistake, but I'm hoping that this will straighten out eventually like this, and then this will grow out because that one was kind of coming up a little too much. I was, I was worried of the whole V situation, so I hope I did the right thing, maybe I didn't. See, what I'm worried is gonna happen now is that this one's gonna grow up here. I don't know. Hopefully this will straighten out. So I'm just glad that we're dealing with it while it's still a little tree. Um, honestly, I think probably more pruning is better than less pruning as far as future tree goes, even though right now it looks kind of messy. All right, I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching me kind of fumble my way through this tree pruning. If you guys have any specific thoughts on those trees, I, I would actually love to hear them because I, uh, it, it's crazy how you can watch so many videos of it. And then once you actually get the tree in front of you, it's, it's hard at least for me to figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna plan on posting updates for these trees in the future and maybe where various things that I did or didn't do came back to bite me. So hopefully they won't come back to bite you. This is my t-shirt. If you want to grab one for yourself, the link is in the description below. And thank you so much to the people who have already bought t-shirts. That was a really nice surprise for me. I didn't really think anyone was going to buy it. So thank you and I hope you enjoy it. I guess that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.